Good morning. It is Saturday, September 21st, and uh, I am heading out to uh, go meet Sue. Um, I had a free weekend this weekend, and uh, I've got a bunch of trips coming up back to back. And I was going to stay home, and then I kind of was like, oh, maybe I'll just go do a one-nighter. Um, randomly asked Sue what she was doing, and she is free. So um, she did have a bit of a late night yesterday, which is why we're having a late start. Uh, but I'm meeting her at the Big Hawk Access at 11 o'clock and uh, then we're going to be heading into Little Brother Lake. Uh, just a 600 and something meter portage. We're both bringing our uh, solo canoes and uh, just going to meet up, hang out for a bit, have some food, maybe do some fishing, hopefully do some swimming. It is the last weekend of summer and the weather forecast for today is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got clear skies right now and it's supposed to be feels like 32 or something. Uh, there is some rain in the forecast tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day um, but we're hoping that stays away. So I'm gonna jump in my car and get going and I'll see you soon. Bye! Well I've just arrived at the Halliburton Water Trails office. I'm just here to grab my permit and then uh, I'm gonna head to the access to meet Sue. I somehow managed to get a parking lot, parking spot, and Sue did too. Um, but that means we couldn't put the car down by the water to unload. So we're kind of portaging all our stuff down to the dock. <laughs> Can't see. I Look can who see. I found. <laughs> again. With Sue again. <laughs> Wasn't it like just three weeks ago? Yeah. Was it that long? Yeah. Oh, feels like yeah. just yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've reached uh, the Big Hawk access. Uh, the parking lot is crazy as I anticipated because it's like 11 in the morning on the nicest day. They go way back. Like the last weekend of summer. It's absolutely gorgeous out. But uh, that's cool. We've both found a spot. Um, so we're going to jump in the boats and head to the portage. We have a 600 and 60. something. 660. 700 meter portage, whatever, right. knock it out. And uh, the guy at the park office told me that it's a really nice site. Oh, nice. Yeah, after Yay. he charged me for a reservation fee, <laughs> standing at the desk, which I'm pretty not uh, happy about, but whatever. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay, so off we go. <laughs> All right, we are on the way. We have beautiful mirror conditions. It's supposed to be, uh, supposed to get some rain at noon, but the sky is perfectly blue. It's gorgeous. I don't see a cloud anywhere and uh, I cannot wait to go swimming. I have not been in the water in quite some time. We're just coming up to the portage here and there's like a whole bunch of merganser ducks. Just like a big flock of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know. There's like nine or ten of them. Oh, there's one coming in from behind. There's Sue. All right, we have arrived at the portage into Big Brother, or Brother, is it called Brother or Big Brother? Well, we're going to Little Brother, so I assume it's Big Brother, but here we are. We're on the portage into Big Brother, and uh, Sue's put down the canoe for some reason, not sure what's going on. Got a little bit of a blockage, I think. I'm gonna pre-scout and go around it. <laughs> <Done. laughs> She's coming behind me now. <laughs> All right, well, we arrived at the other side of the portage. Feels like it was a lot longer than 600 and whatever meters, but I haven't done one in a while, I guess. I feel like I'm totally like starting for the season right now. I think I better get in shape for my Thanksgiving trip or I'm gonna be in big trouble. Now we're just in the creek uh, in between Big Brother and Little Brother. <laughs> Extremely shallow and covered in logs. Uh, both Sue and I have our kayak paddles apart and we're just kind of pushing ourselves like we're skiing. <laughs> What's happening? I'm filming you because I'm actually stuck on a log, so <laughs> there's more to come. Yay. I'm having Obabaka loop flashbacks, <laughs> but in miniature. <laughs> Glad I got water socks on. 
All right, well, we're in some sucky muck. Show them, Sue. Not too bad right there. Yeah. So worse, much side. worse on this side of the log. Um, it's really, really slow going. It's hard to get through all this. There's a current pushing us the opposite way. Um, so I just decided it'd be better to get out. And, uh, oh, deer, trucks. And uh, this is better here. It's still sucky muck, but it's not as bad. And then up here, it's kind of dried out. So my plan, I don't know about Sue. <laughs> but my plan is just to walk along here to the lake because this is, it's just too hard to do this. So portage number three, unexpected number two. <laughs> This was a good call, but it's a pretty good distance. <laughs> All right, so Sue was ahead of me with the pack, her pack and my pack. And uh, she was like, oh, I think we can just walk to the camp safe from here. And I'm like, no way. And then she disappeared. <laughs> she went around the corner. And sure enough, our camp site is right here. Oh, it looks like an okay site. And not sure if there's too many flat spots for our tent, but it's just one night. Uh, I gotta watch where I'm going here, but uh, I'm just following Sue's footsteps, if you can see. There's also all kinds of animal prints everywhere. Um, lots of deer tracks, and I think we saw either coyote or wolf. So, might see some animals. There's Sue there, way over on our point. I said we might as well just leave the canoes where they were, but... I guess if we want to go out fishing in them later um, or take photos or whatever, we should have them with us. So it's not like a super, super hard, large distance. She's filming me. Hello. Hi. What, why are you portaging right now? Oh, not yet. <laughs> not today. And I'm filming her. <laughs> All right, well, we're at our campsite. Beautiful fall colors already coming in over here. There's a little swamp over there. Got like a, got like a bunch of rocks out here. It's quite beautiful out. All right, here's our nice little site. Up on a big hill. Some nice rocks there. It smells fantastic. It smells like, like fall, pine. eh? Pine. Yeah. Pine you can smell the leaves. We have a beautiful table here and a very nice, huge fire pit. Somebody left us some foil, which was so kind of them. <laughs> we'll be packing that out. And there's a log here to sit on, even though we both brought chairs. And um, then the privy and the tents will probably go somewhere back there. So, yeah, as you can see, lots of color change here in Halliburton already. And uh, it is the last weekend of summer. I'm not happy about that. I just wanted to make it sound cool. <laughs> All right, my woman's over here making lunch. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> We haven't had anything to drink yet, I swear. <laughs> uh, My woman. That was an interesting venture in. So Sue's brought lunch today, which is lovely. I said to make dinner, so I brought a couple steaks and some baked potatoes for later. And she's got some lovely kielbasa and cheese and crackers and uh, water, which I don't have any of. <laughs> <laughs> I dumped my water out when I got to the portage and said, oh, I got my Katadin filter. I'll just dunk it in the lake. And then, well, we ended up portaging here through the creek because the water was so shallow. I just filled up Sue's filter. Look at it. Ugh. That scares me almost. But over here, it's nice and clean. I'm thirsty. Hurry up, water. <coughs> The things we do to hang a guitar. What are you doing up there? <laughs> this beautiful fallen down tree that's like perfect for. Oh, you're posing. It's like Titanic. No, that would be like. Come on. Oh, that's 
All right, it took us a few minutes. <laughs> but we got the tarp set up. Um, it just didn't seem to go right today, but that's okay. We got it good now. Uh, we wanted it high, but we wanted it to be protected. We had this whole front side. It was like up, which was nice because we could stand under it. But then I was like, if it rains, we're all, we're just going to get soaked. So we moved it to the second string and then put the front down. So there's like a bit of a, a lip to protect us from the, the bad weather. And I know, yes, it's sunny and it's beautiful right now. But around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere around there, 8 o'clock, it's supposed to rain, and it's pretty much supposed to rain until, like, tomorrow night. <laughs> so, I just figured if we're going to be sitting under there all night by the campfire, we want to be nice and dry. So, I think it looks good now. Nice job, Sue! <laughs> See, it looks a lot more open from this angle. I, just, uh, I don't think we'll be getting the rain in there. We've got a nice big tree here to give some extra shelter too, so. Lovely. We're gonna set up our tents and then we finally get to chill. It's like three something. Mm -hmm. Are you done over there? I'm done. Just having a problem getting comfortable in her hammock. We're just uh, laying around, having a nice lazy afternoon. It's absolutely gorgeous out. We're supposed to get some rain, but we just checked the forecast and no more rain. So that's awesome. So um, we're gonna go for a swim, I think, in a bit. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna lay around here for a little longer and then maybe we'll go for a swim. Bye. Sunglasses. <laughs> Did you fix your situation? <laughs> what? You're squirming around in there like a jellyfish in a taco. Oh, do you ever see what? Did you ever see the stuff that Hayden used to do in this? Oh, I know. Are you going to do a spin? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, just for the record, we have not had any alcohol yet. And what the heck? <laughs> I gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs> See? <coughs> oh my gosh. Why? Why?
So on my last trip with Sue, she gave me a gift, a sage bundle. <coughs> mm -hmm. And um, when I was at the Changing of the Seasons gathering, they began it with everyone um, doing cleansing. the sage, cleansing with the sage. Yep. So I brought it back today so Sue could do a cleanse because I heard she's been very, very dirty. <laughs> Kidding. Sort of. And that's just after six. We've got a fire going, got the potatoes on. We're just waiting until they finish cooking. Um, I put them in the microwave for a couple minutes before I left. Yes, I know that could be dangerous, but I've been doing it all my life and I really don't care. Um, so they're on and uh, we're just getting ready to put the steaks on shortly. It's quite lovely out here. Colors are changing so quickly. I got the potatoes on there and they're cooking real nice. They're kind of squeezy now. I think we could probably get ready to put the steaks on. So we're gonna do that and uh, then we're gonna eat. So <laughs> Sue brought most of the food. Like she said, I'll do breakfast and lunch and <coughs> do dinner. So I brought steaks and potatoes. And then I just felt so naked. Like I didn't have anything when I left my house. It was really weird for me because I always bring all my food. So I grabbed a package of prosciutto that I had in my fridge and uh, just, you know, and two wraps just in case I needed to make a sandwich, you know, if she didn't do her job right, <laughs> which of course she did. But so anyways, um, we were sitting here eating the prosciutto just as it is, which is delicious. And I said, we should like put some cheese inside of the middle and then like roast it on the fire or something. So. Next thing you know, Sue's like reading my mind too, right? And she jumps up and grabs a stick and she's wrapping it around the stick. And um, we just had a couple pieces. They were delicious, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> so we're having some more and then I'm gonna put the steak on. Hopefully we still have room for this steak. All right, so there's the prosciutto all nice and roasted on the fire. And uh, I'm gonna eat that. Good. Oh, apparently Sue's going right for the <laughs> meat on a stick, my friend. Mm. It's the second time, second trip in a row we've had meat on a stick. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got like these two babies just sitting here waiting to get on the fire. Yum, yum. Hang on, appetizer. All right, we got the steaks on and they are sizzling away. The potatoes are done already, so all good um i guess i should have maybe picked up some asparagus but oh, oh well <laughs> we have lots of food oh we have a secret dessert too that sue brought Woo all right so the steak is done and uh potatoes done and it looks pretty good how's yours look sue oh it looks fantastic it looks pretty good mm -hmm. hopefully it tastes good although i'm full of prosciutto right now <laughs> 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 Pretty mirror lake out here, my little brother. Quite nice. All right, Sue has made a discovery. What is it? What's going on here? We've got cranberries. What? Wild cranberries. Where? Like wild blueberries. All here. Oh, it's, it's so really crunchy. Dry. It's dry. These are all the cranberries. Those are cranberries. Yep. Are you gonna eat them? No. Why not? Uh, I wouldn't eat chance eating something like this out here. First time I've ever heard anything like that about camping. It's pretty crazy.
I'm still full from dinner, but Sue's making dessert, and I'm definitely not refusing it. <laughs> uh, it is the dessert that we learned when we were on our trip with Sean Rowley. Mm -hmm. um, also in the Halliburton Highlands. Also, yes. Yeah, oh, uh, we did a trip with him in June, and uh, he brought some strawberries and some fluff. And uh, basically, you put the strawberries on a stick, you cover it in fluff, and then you brown, <laughs> brown, Sue, brown. the marshmallow. <laughs> I didn't look. Sue makes nice, toasty brown marshmallows. She has the patience of a saint. And she just sits there and turns and turns it and turns it until it's golden brown. So they're going to be quite delicious. I'm pretty excited. And I'm still really excited from hearing the coyotes. Oh my gosh. That is spectacular. Are there two strawberries on yes. there? Yes. Okay. So things are about to get messy. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to go eat this. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Well, the strawberry fell mm -hmm. off and went into the marshmallow fluff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your fingers. I have to try to get the marshmallow. There's like... Yeah. Mm. I'm licking it off my hands at the same time. I'm covered in marshmallow fluff. It's glowing. It's like hard to see it on the camera. It's super bright. Okay, Sue's howling. <laughs> Here, you look at me because my lights. I <laughs> I just said to her, I think something's on my face. <laughs> okay, cut. Uh, uh, some wine was consumed during the filming of this video. Bye. <laughs> Well, good morning. It is 7 a.m. on Sunday, September 22nd, and uh, it was supposed to rain all night. Uh, it did not. It actually just started raining about a half an hour ago. Um, it's just a light rain. It is very warm out. Um, hopefully it'll stop, but I mean, if it doesn't, such is life. We're heading out today. Um, you know, the plan was just to do a quick one night trip. Um, so not a big deal as long as the winds stay down uh, we should be fine and I don't really see any issues with the wind I just came out to the little creek in between uh, little brother and big brother to see if I could see some wildlife because I've heard stuff walking around in the forest here all night and because there's so many tracks here and because we heard the coyotes we think or wolves whatever they were last night or yesterday um, just kind of thought that we might get some visitors but Unfortunately, there's nothing out here that I can see. But it's still pretty, even in the rain. All right, well, Sue has woken up. Good morning, Sue. <laughs> and uh, she's cooking up some breakfast. I made dinner yesterday, so she's on breakfast duty. Um, we're just having some wraps this morning. We have some bacon under there somewhere. Sue pre-cooked it and just heated it up. And uh, we really enjoyed the um, the wraps we had on Labor Day, so we're just having those again with some kielbasa, and then there's some cheese on the wraps already. So just frying that up. Just put a little bit of butter and garlic in the <laughs> kielbasa, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna sit here. It's it's kind of raining on and off. It's not too bad. It's a little bit windy, um, but you know it's not like we're too far in, so it shouldn't be too bad. We're both packed up, more or less. We've just got to put away, you know, the food and the cooking stuff. Um, so we'll probably sit here and enjoy a nice leisurely breakfast. Uh, we're supposed to get a break in the weather around 10 o'clock. So um, we we'll just sit here and chill until then. We'll see how it goes. Here, the eggies are done. She's going to put them in the wraps there. Put her bacon next to it. It's raining again. Really windy. Blowing all the rain on me. I'm starving. Me too. Nice job, Sue. Looks good. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all packed up. 
I'm gonna go home. It's not raining right now, so that's good. It's supposed to be. Like it's supposed one, to be. One to three millimeters right now. <laughs> so, I don't know. We got everything packed up. The only things that wet are, are tents, tents and the tarp. And tarp. So, not too bad. Um, we're gonna make our way to the other lake from here. <laughs> We're just going to not even try to do the creek because that little bit we did, we had to get out like two or three times. Yeah. So we're we'll just, just going to bring the canoes all the way to, uh, not all the way, but to Big Brother. It's probably yeah. like, what, maybe 400 meters? Something. 300 meters, 400 meters. And then uh, we just got a short paddle to the portage and then another short paddle to the car. <laughs> so um, I don't think the uh, parking lot's going to be that busy today. I don't think it's going to be that busy. <laughs> so maybe we'll do our recap there. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, we attempted to go to the end, but the sucky muck is so bad there. I sunk like right up to my knees. I couldn't get out. My shoes came off. Sue had to come and save me. Um, so we've got our bags right there. We built a little bridge um, with the wood. There was a tree already laying there. And then we put a whole bunch of uh, pieces of wood beside it. So we have somewhere to step on because with the canoe, right? Like don't want to lose balance, so hopefully that works. <laughs> All right, there goes Sue walking on the log. She lost her balance and then fell in the mud. Just started raining again too. Take your time, you got it. It's done, folks. That's what happened to me. Yeah. But you know what? Oh, it's best to let the canoe down here and use it for leverage. My foot is just like going out. Don't lose your shoe. Both nice and dirty, just getting out of the creek. Sue's way up there at the end, and uh, I've just got a little bit left to go, so almost there. All right, well, it's raining. We're just paddling along, it's fine. I don't know, I'm okay. It's warm, right? So, it's, warm. it's like 20 degrees. Yeah, not bad. We're almost at the portage, anyways. I got mud all over my phone screen. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, we're back on the portage raining pretty hard and uh, you can already see a lot of leaves on the trail on this last day of summer I guess mother nature wanted to go out nice and clean and uh, wash everything up and get it ready for fall <laughs> so see it's just a bit ahead of me and uh, now we're about halfway through the portage no rush to get out on the water in this so just taking our time just a side note for those of you who are uh, throwing out that line about September being the best time to camp because there's no bugs uh, Sue and I have both been <laughs> constantly getting bitten by mosquitoes um, I think because of the cold front and then the, the warm weather that came back a whole new group of them hatched and uh, we also had a bunch of deer flies all over us yesterday. <laughs> so um, we're just doing this portage in the rain and like every 30 seconds there's a mosquito buzzing in your ear. Um, they're not gone. <laughs> I wish they were, but they're not. All right, Sue and I have made it through the portage. There she be. And uh, we're super, super, super soaking wet. <laughs> 
Um, it did stop raining though, and uh, the water is almost mirror here. We have a very short paddle to the parking lot. So it um, looks like we're uh, all easy going from here on out. Hi! Hi! <laughs> well, we just finished the portage and just got a little bit of paddling to do. It's, of course, stopped raining. Perfect mirror. <laughs> no wind. Um, so we're all good. We're soaking wet, but that's okay. I got to change of clothes. You got to change of clothes, change right? Clothes. Good trip. It's a great trip. So short, but Whatever. totally worth it, right? 12 hours? Yeah. Just, no, 24. 24? 24 hours. <laughs> She's a mathematician. <laughs> She's a teacher, you know. <laughs> that's my favorite joke. <laughs> so, uh, good time. We got to go swimming last weekend of the summer, last day of the summer today. And uh, what'd you think of the sucky muck? Uh, it sucked. It sucked. It sucked my feet. Yeah. I've I been stuck. dealing a lot with sucky muck in Tamagami this summer. And um, that one spot where you filmed me, you guys have probably already seen it in the video earlier. Thanks for that clip, by the way. No um, I think that's the worst I've ever gotten stuck. <laughs> I could not get my foot out. It did not want to move. Um, so that was pretty, pretty hard. And. Yeah. Uh, it was different experiencing it with someone else. Um, <laughs> that could help and film it and, you know. Yeah, it was nice, right? Really to kind of see, things. like, how hard it is. But that stuff is a pain in the butt. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm glad we got out of it anyways. And, you know, we survived, whatever. Yeah. So it wasn't a hard trip. But yeah. lots of fun. Lots of fun. Can't wait to do it again. Yeah. I'm probably not going to see you till what, like, uh, mm -hmm. the winter symposium? Something like that. Hopefully you guys yeah. got your tickets. There's still a few left, but they're almost all gone. Yep, those are mosquitoes. Those mosquitoes. Um, and uh, we'll be there, yep. right? Yep. And um, hopefully I see you before then. But uh, if not, if not, oh well. Oh well. We'll plan something for winter. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed them, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.